Good morning, Rebels, and welcome back to my life. I've talked before about feeling overwhelmed with all the things that I'm doing and all the things that I need to do and everything that's going on with my life. Right now, I'm behind on my writing. I'm not vlogging every weekday like I need to be doing. Vlog a novel is sporadic at best, and Garrett's Games has nowhere near the viewership I would love for it to have. And none of these things, nor all of them combined, are paying my full-time income, so I have to take side editing jobs to fill in the rest of that income, which cuts even more into my writing time and my YouTube time and my gaming time. And that's not even counting all the work that I do with Johnny, Sean, and Dave over at Sterling and Stone in the self-publishing podcast. There's a lot of stuff going on. It can be frustrating because no one avenue is where I want it to be yet. People love to chime in with advice and tell me I'd be happier and possibly more successful if I cut it all down and focused on one or two things rather than like the whole plethora and I appreciate that advice because I know it comes from a place of wanting to help. I mean the general advice seems to be do one thing well rather than two things poorly. Writers usually get the same advice. We're told not to genre hop because you can build an audience faster and more successfully if you focus on one genre rather than genre hopping from book to book and writing a different genre every time. And I'm not good about following that advice either. I've published thrillers, horror, contemporary sci-fi, literary fiction, and fantasy. Maybe you're starting out and you're facing a similar decision and it feels like a good idea to you to just do one thing. And here's the thing, it probably is a good idea, but don't feel bad if you can't. I am not the sort of person who can sit down and do the same thing all day, every day. If I were that kind of person, I would still have a 9 to 5 job. I need to do all the different things that I do because otherwise I would get bored. And if you think that my quality is suffering because I'm doing too many things, you do not want to know what it would look like if I was not doing enough things. Things. I know because I have been down that road, I know where it ends, and I know that's not where I want to be. Super high fives if you get that reference. So if you're the type of person who can't just sit down and do the same thing all day, every day, and let's face it, if you're an artist or an online entrepreneur, you probably are, then don't. Do everything. Do everything. Make your art and play your games and travel and get out there in the world and hang out with your friends. Start a YouTube channel or start three YouTube channels. Now do the best you can with everything you have. Never release something you're not proud of, but also don't fail to release something just because it isn't perfect, because perfect does not exist. And just realize as you do this that it's going to be a long, hard road. <laughs> long and hard. And just don't complain about how little you're making right now, because you know you'll get there eventually and it will be a much better place because of the journey. Because here's the other danger if I were to cut it all down to one thing. I'd get used to it. If I trained myself to only write all day every day, what would happen if the writing became successful and then I wanted to branch out into video and YouTube and filmmaking? I would not know how to do all of those different things. I'd have built myself a life that included no multitasking and I'd be very bad at it and I don't want to spend the rest of my life doing only one thing, even if it's something that I do enjoy. So even as I try to keep 10 balls all up in the air at once, <laughs> balls, I'm getting better and better at it. I'm getting more organized. I'm producing more every time and the quality of every individual production is going up and I am happy with that. If you want to help me get there faster, I would love it if you would check out my Patreon page in the video description below. Because honestly, the editing I have to do on the side is my biggest time suck, and if I didn't have to do that, I would have more than enough hours in the day to do all of the different things that I want to do and spend time with my family. And it's not like you're getting something for nothing. Essentially, it's just a way to subscribe to my books. I'm not asking for a handout here. But if you can't, don't worry about it, because I will get there eventually. Speaking of doing everything at once, a quick reminder that this Friday I am uploading my video to the Project for Awesome to help out Empower Tanzania, and I will need your eyes. Well, I don't actually want your, your eyes. I want your views and your likes on that video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss it. And don't forget to tune into the channel on Friday so that you can see the video. You'll be helping out a lot of people in Africa. It's, it's very important, guys. Thanks for watching, Rebels, and I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye.